I almost did live in Hawaii be girl stuff. Buy nothing groups. I just learned about this. I didn't miss the name. Seasonal depression. I'm starting to miss home a little bit now. Hello my friends. I'm here for a quick little chatty life update, if you will. It is so cloudy again. If you guys saw my last video, it was so sunny and bright. I was spring was here and it's left again. Next week it says the forecast says it's gonna be sunny so we'll see how that goes. I'm currently working on my spring cleaning videos because all that sunshine was making me want to spring clean. Then the sunshine left and now I don't want to work on spring cleaning. Also this house is so dark that when there's no sunshine like I it's just like filming is not the vibe in here. I'm currently working on my spring cleaning videos, but I still wanted to get something up this week. And I also just have been wanting to talk about a few different life things lately. Girl stuff. So grab a drink, grab a snack. I have my liquid IV. Someone asked me in a recent video to talk about more about like why I love being a mom. Because I said in the video I love being a mom. And the comment was something along the lines like, there's so much negativity around becoming parents these days. The first thing I'll say is that no one can prepare you to be become a parent. Everyone says that. It is the most true thing ever. You don't know what it's like to be a mom until you're a mom. And it's also different, like, when you're pregnant, you feel kind of protective over your, your baby, obviously, and your belly and whatnot. No one can prepare you for, like, once they're out of your body. It's just so different. And it's just the most amazing thing ever. Watching him grow and develop and learn new things and get bigger it's just the biggest blessing the biggest gift it really puts life into perspective i'm gonna make a video about the newborn essentials that i think that we that you might need there's also a lot of commentary or possibly negativity that i see online about you know becoming parents about one of them being that takes a lot of your time, which I think it's true. Becoming a parent does take a lot of your time. He has my attention all day, like he's my priority. In that sense, yeah, it's true. And that's kind of the selflessness, is that the right word? Of becoming a parent and a mom. Like before you're a mom, I feel like you're like, oh, all my time, like my free time is, or whatever. You might be a little more selfish with it, but once you become a mom, it's like I don't want to do anything else but be with my baby. So it's not like a hard thing. I know that over time, I mean, there's some days where I'm like, I just want to take a bath for 30 minutes and not think about anything. <laughs> when my husband gets home from work, Usually I pass him off the baby and I start to like catch up on chores around the house that I haven't been able to do, um, you know, because I'm hanging out with the baby. Lately I've been wanting, I call it my mommy time, <laughs> where instead of running, rushing off to do chores or something practical like taking a shower or something, I'm like, I just want to pass the baby off and do nothing. So I pass the baby off to him and I've been laying in the bed and just like, sit there and stare at the wall or scroll on my phone or do whatever so i feel like i'm not just passing off the baby to go do chores like i'm passing off the baby just to like get a few little minutes of me time which if you're not a mom that might sound like what in the world that sounds crazy or you don't want to like give up so much of your time that you're just like craving 10 minutes of alone time but i can't explain it it's just I just need those few minutes to myself and then I'm like recharged and I want to be with my baby again and I, um, you know, I'm back to doing all my wifely duties. But I used to be a person that, I mean, I could spend all day long alone. Like I, I really loved being alone, loved my alone time. Just, you know, it was like my thing back in the day. I might not have it in the same way, but it's like I wouldn't want to go back to that another reason I see people say or like negativity around kids is they say that kids cost a lot of money my son's five months old so I don't know I can only speak until this point okay yes I mean they take some money of course you have to buy them clothes and diapers and wipes and stuff like that but other than diapers and wipes I mean he doesn't really need that many things and I, a lot of it is like you have to think about what your baby actually needs 
and things you are wanting to buy or things that you see on social media and I've talked about this a couple other times but I grew up with my little brother he's I was 11 when he was born so I grew up you know having a baby brother and then I also lived with my sister-in-law my brother when they had my nephew so you know I got to live in a household with babies which I got to learn a lot that you really like <laughs> all those gadgets and baby stuff like you don't really end up using it so I personally didn't feel that pressure to like buy all these like gadgets that you see and they're so expensive so I have a couple tips for that if you want all the fancy gadgets look for them on Facebook marketplace because babies use things very minimally they're gonna be basically brand new if you are you know really wanting to buy something if you're on a tight budget you don't really need it or I just like I just didn't feel like I needed a lot of stuff like I don't have a walker I don't have a baby swing I have you know his like little chair bouncer that I put him in when I have to go to the bathroom or I'm gonna shower or whatever and someone gifted us a little sit chair for uh, my baby shower and I use that you know all the time but you don't really need a lot of stuff for the financial aspect right um, if you have a baby shower, I was so blessed. Like, I got so much clothes at my baby shower. I didn't have to buy a lot, although I did, you know, buy a few things. Because buying baby clothes is just so fun. They, the babies, like, grow out of their clothes so fast. So, really, you just need to buy, like, I would really, like, to where I'm at, like, five months. Like, newborn to five months. If I absolutely had to, I could survive off of seven footed pajamas in each size uh so you know like newborn seven newborns and then seven zero to three months because he grows out of them so fast and like just one for each day of the week it was fine for me uh that might be a little different if you have like a really sp spitty baby like if they spit up a lot luckily my son doesn't spit up like didn't spit up that much i mean there's like a couple variables there but you don't really need to spend that much money on clothes. He does have some few like cute going out outfits, uh, but it, you don't absolutely need those. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need all that stuff. You don't. I personally don't think you need a di a, a wipe warmer. Um, and I live in Idaho where the winter was very cold. He was born in the fall, so he went through the winter. And I mean, the wipes were fine. You just warm them up in your hand for a second to take off the chill, and they're totally fine. Like not even a big deal you don't need all the fancy gadgets you can buy them used also something i've been into lately is buy nothing groups i just learned about this i didn't know these were a thing so you look up your city and you put on facebook on go to your facebook you type in buy nothing and then your town or city that you live in and basically you're not allowed to sell anything in the group it's everyone that in the group agrees that you're just gifting things so it's free stuff um, I just got a free high chair, so I mean if you really like are on a budget but you feel called to start your family, I mean you could probably, I mean I've seen everything on there, S swings, bouncer, like uh, cribs, mattresses, crib mattresses, crib sheets, like bassinets, like I've seen everything baby stuff on there um, and it's free, you just have to go pick it up from the person people on there on the buy nothing group in my area bags and bags of newborn clothes three month clothes uh toddler clothes 2t 3t like i mean you if you really you probably could just look into the buy nothing groups and have to not buy literally buy nothing if you start preparing or you start looking on there while you're pregnant or you're planning on getting pregnant like i didn't know about that or i probably would have gotten a lot of stuff from there too i personally also exclusively breastfeed i know like some people get really sensitive about feeding your baby for some reason with like you know formula i understand some women like can't they you don't know, produce enough breast milk i would suggest the book the guide of Ina May's guide to breastfeeding is what my midwife told me to listen to um it just talks about like the biology of breast milk i'm gonna get into other topics if you guys like aren't a mom or aren't interested in this there's timestamps you guys can skip this <laughs> but anyway so in there it talks about like your body and how it produces milk and when you first have your baby your every single baby loses weight 
and then I see so many moms on social media like, oh, my baby lost weight right after birth, and they freak out, and they start feeding their baby formula. But literally, every baby loses weight when they're born, mostly because they're, like, pooping out their meconium, and that they lose weight. It's just totally normal. And then also mom's misconception of breastfeeding, they're like, my milk isn't in, but really, your milk doesn't come in until three to seven days after you give birth. So for those three to seven days, you only have colostrum and it's like the baby needs like drops of colostrum every couple hours. So like you have enough milk. There's just, I feel like women aren't educated enough to know that they don't need to have like streams of milk coming out the day they give birth. It comes in three to seven days after. Okay, so a lot of women freak out. They think they need to give their baby formula when they really don't and then there comes the cost of formula. And that is a big cost. Formula is so expensive. And a lot of women think that they need to give their baby formula for the reasons I just stated, but it's not true. Um, your body is perfectly fine. It's producing enough milk for your baby. That is like one thing you can trust your body to do. It's coming from someone like, I had a, a uterine infection after birth. Like that's like almost like worst case scenario. Like. I really could have had, I had low milk reduction, I was on antibiotics, and I still produced enough milk for my baby, so, you know, it can be scary if you're a first time mom, and I think that since I had my sister-in-law that breastfed, you know, before me, I got a lot of information from her and my midwife, like I could text her all the time, so I was really confident and assured that it was fine. You know, the formula thing is a huge, huge cost. Um, some women end up, you know, giving formula because they can't handle the physical demand of breastfeeding, which is, you know, totally fine. Everyone can has like different levels of what they can handle. Anyway, I'm talking about this for way too long. I'm actually going to make a video on my experience breastfeeding, but I just wanted to touch on that because they asked like there's so much negativity around, you know, kids these days and I feel like it's mostly about like the time sacrifice and then the financial sacrifice so i just wanted to touch on that which speaking of <laughs> this last like week i think my baby's going through a growth spurt or something because he's just like sleeping and crying a lot and not sleeping at nighttime and i'm tired you guys i'm tired i really am so let's move on to the next topic someone else also asked me how i dealt from moving from a hot state to a cold state so if you're new here, I just moved from, well, it's almost, a, it's a, coming up to a year now. Uh, in June will be a year that I moved from Arizona to Idaho, which are very two different climates. Arizona is a desert, it's dry and hot basically all year long. I mean, it was like January and it's like in the 60s or something when I call my mom, like it's, nice over there so <laughs> it's always sunny which is the I will say immediately that is what I miss the most is like I took that for granted I didn't know like sunshine every single day 365 days of the year there is sunshine in Arizona like <laughs> uh, obviously it rains and stuff there every once in a while but mostly it's sunny it has definitely been a hard adjusting to the cold not the cold weather I love the cold weather I love wearing my sweatshirt right now like it's the I hated being hot in Arizona oh my god it make me so mad you like getting your car and it's like an oven it's so hot oh my god it, like it would make me angry so angry <laughs> and I was thinking the other day how I was out on a walk and it was kind of like you know not snowing but like there was flurries I think is what it's called and the baby was like bundled up and he's sleeping in the stroller and I'm on a walk bundled up and I'm like okay see this is like extreme-ish weather right but I'm still able to go outside and go on a walk whereas in Arizona if it's super 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 hot I couldn't go outside and walk especially with my my infant he'd get heat stroke so <laughs> I mean I like the cold weather right the only thing I will say is I miss the sunshine and it's really, it really has affected me. I, I mean, I, there's some days like I'm super depressed and I was like, oh, you know, I, I think I am depressed. I was like talking to my husband. He's like, are you feeling a little depressed? And I'm like, oh yeah, I think that's what it is actually. <laughs> um, and hence the name seasonal depression. So it has very much taken a toll on me. I, 
I'm waiting for the sunshine. <laughs> and uh, also, from filming perspective, I feel like I've gotten my energy and my flow back for filming. But my house and the outside climate is not cooperating with me. Uh, <laughs> my house is already dark. Even when it's sunny, it's dark in here. Okay, so that's against me. And then when it's also cloudy outside, I'm like, are you kidding me? So, like, I want to do these videos, film these videos, and it just, like, <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Because you need good lighting for your videos. It's just, it's just a fact. I was a little landlocked when there was a lot of snow on the ground and ice because I don't know how to drive in the snow, and I'm not about to start practicing with my son in the back seat. Like if I run off the road, I want it to be just me um, and not me and my son. So I was a little landlocked because I was relying on just my husband driving me around when it was like dead of winter and the days were so short. Oh my God, it was like 3 p.m. and it was like pitch black outside. So at least now it's like seven and it's still kind of like bright out, which is nice. That's been helpful. But yeah, like the dead, dead winter was, it was hard. It was hard. But I do like the cold, if that can make sense. Like I prefer the cold to the extreme heat uh, in Arizona. Oh, buddy. Okay, I gotta go turn off something on the stove. One moment, please. Alrighty. Next topic. My entire family and my friends live in Arizona. The only people I know here are my, my in-laws, my brother-in-law and his wife my sister-in-law which love them so grateful to have them i get along great with my sister-in-law which is spectacular i would i don't necessarily think i would move somewhere where like i didn't have some family but my personality type take a long time to make friends um it takes me a long time to like trust people um which i think i should work on and I think I'll start praying about it because I don't think that's necessarily like a positive um, quality of mine. <laughs> but And I, I've always had like very few friends, but I like love them, you know, like ride or die friends. Like, and I've also, my friends I've had are for extremely long time. Like, I'm really close with my cousin, like ever since we were little. And her and my other cousin, her sister, like have babies. And like now I have my baby and I want to be like, look at my baby. <laughs> Cause I love their babies so much. Like want to go show my aunts, my son. And I, you know, I just like, I, there's so many people I want to see. So many of the girls in my life live in Arizona. So I'm starting to miss home a little bit now, which I really haven't. Um, really until recently, I'm really missing my friends and my family and just seeing them. I did, I did talk with my mom and I think I might go visit. I still haven't picked a day. I still haven't really decided. Um, my husband would have to stay to work, so I'm not too thrilled about, like, going without him. Because I'll really miss him, but I also think, like, it'd be really fun to see everyone. So I'm a little torn. And also, like, May, it's going to be super hot in Arizona. I'm like, ugh. I don't want to go there when it's hot but I think I'm going to because I really I just need to see the girls in my life you know I really I'm missing that part of my life I need to I think I need to like make a couple friends here in Idaho <laughs> but you know what you guys are my friends you guys are my friends so I really I just need you guys I think you guys can get me through this phase of life <laughs> I think you guys are enough to get me through this phase of life. Yeah, I love you guys. You guys are my friends. All right, next topic. I want to talk about faith a little bit. Well, I think I want, I want to make a video about, okay, let me backtrack. I made a video, a year update from New Age to Christianity. If you guys missed it, I had this like, you know, spiritual awakening and gave my life to Christ and became a Christian again I was like super into the new age I posted a testimony about that it's on my YouTube channel so I made a follow-up video uh, in case you're new and you're you haven't been subscribed since that point I used to make videos about you know the new age and all that stuff so then I made it my posted my testimony because I was like okay guys uh, hard left I'm not gonna be making videos about the new age anymore and 
Uh, I'm also not going to be making videos about Christianity because I felt like very vulnerable. I was like a baby Christian. I didn't, I didn't really know what I believed. So I'm like, I can't be like obviously teaching anyone. I don't, I don't really know anything. <laughs> anyway, I made a follow up video to it. I was super, super pregnant when I made it and I never got to edit the video before I gave birth. And then it just like, I still have the footage, but it just kind of like, I made other videos and I didn't feel like editing that one for it. I don't know. It's just like, I never edited it. Edited the, edited the video. So I never went up. And now I feel like I can't go back and edit that footage and post it now. Like, I have a five month old. I was super pregnant then. I think I was going to make like a follow up video. My testimony, I think I posted in August. So if like I wait till August, it'll be like two years now. I don't know. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about that. So I think I'm going to refilm that and just kind of like talk about what's happened since then spiritually and like what I've learned. Ow! Ow! You're so strong. You just <laughs> hit my ankle with a wooden toy. I also want to talk about how starting a business has been. Although I didn't, I forgot to ask my husband about this. So I don't know much how much he wants me to share. But I just like want to talk about it because I made some videos about like going to work with my husband and all of that. Because when we moved here, we like started a business. I was pregnant. I was like going to work construction with him. <laughs> we were making it happen. And then the winter happened so slow here in the winter. We knew it was going to be slow because people warned us it was going to be slow. Luckily, we had a few like repeat clients that got us through like the dead of winter. But we for sure thought it was going to start picking up, picking it up again by like now. And we also didn't really have like that harsh of a winter. It has been a hard winter. I mean, like we're barely making it to the next month. But I wanted to mention it because even though it's like a struggle, a big struggle financially, like starting a business and then, you know, going through this winter time where it's slow and now like we're coming like out of it. So I feel like I can talk about it a little more, but like during that time, it was like really hard. I, know, I have so much faith and like so much peace about it and I think that's what happens like when you have when you're doing something that God kind of told you to do or guided you to do even though it's hard I feel so much peace I feel like so confident in it and I know it'll be worth it in the end but I don't want to like put up a facade and be like oh yeah we started a business and it's been great and super easy and all this stuff like it's been hard <laughs> it's a very hard I just wanted to kind of give like a little update on that if you guys want to know more about that you can let me know in the comments oh yeah which brings me to wanting to move uh, our lease is up in May here and you i've talked about it so many times you guys i i really like don't want to complain because i want to be grateful that i have a place to live and all of that but i just like don't really like this house <laughs> i don't like living here it's just not even practical like the ceilings are so low my husband hits his head all the time <laughs> like uh i'm grateful we had a good spot to land when we moved and there just wasn't a lot of rentals when we were moving and we just took what we got i mean it's really 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 close to the lake i mean we're like we're at the lake which is incredible and it was so nice when we first got here from arizona we were like you know sweating still from arizona and it was nice to be able to go and jump in the nice like refreshing cold the lake all summer we had such a blast like going down to the lake all the time and swimming and it was just so fun but now i want to move i want to move so bad i think about it every single day and i just look at houses on zillow all day long and for me like i, ugh, I struggle like wanting to talk about this because i don't want to sound like i'm complaining because i am very grateful you know at the same time but i'm just like i'm a homebody and i'm home all day just like my home environment really you know affects my mood and it's not like i need to live in like a million dollar home or anything i just like this is not my vibe this wood paneling is not my vibe this does not bring me joy at all <laughs> so i really want to move but i don't know if we're going to be able to move uh until business picks up a lot more 
So that has been, I think, like making me a little more depressy because I'm like, was really looking forward to moving. And now I don't think we're going to be able to. It's kind of a bummer. I'm honestly really bummed about it. But I know we're going to be able to move eventually. So it's not that big of a deal. Or even just like a couple months later than I was wanting to move. I just like really want to move. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so bad. If you guys could pray for me and my family that we were able to move soon. That would be awesome. I remembered last night because we were watching this video or this video, this show about um, like remodel, you know, like a HGTV show of remodels and it was uh, based in Hawaii. And then I remembered, if you guys don't know, I wasn't vlogging at this time. I used to be a massage therapist, okay? So when I became or when I was touring the massage therapy school that I went to months, months prior to touring the school, or signing up or whatever I had been applying to these farming programs in Hawaii so you can go you farm you're like basically a worker and they give you house and board or room and board you have to work several hours you know like 30 hours a week or whatever but you have a, pl a free place to stay and a lot of them provide you with a dinner at you know in the evening or whatever anyway so i applied to a couple of these farms and i was like i'm gonna move to hawaii i was like super that's when i first started getting into the new new age this was like 10 years ago and i was just like wanting to meditate and be one with the universe and all of that whatever it sounds silly now so when i was signing up for massage therapy school the day i was signing up for school i got a call back from one of the farms and <laughs> I was remembering this because we were watching the show about Hawaii and we were like, oh my gosh, we should live in Hawaii. And I was like, wait, I almost did live in Hawaii because when I was signing up for massage school, I got a call from one of the farms that they had accepted my application, but I had to leave like within three days or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm signing up for massage therapy school because I hadn't heard back from them. So I kind of like moved on uh, with my life. So... <laughs> Which I think, I don't know, it's just like so like carefree of little Jasmine of me to move to Hawaii by myself. Like that sounds so scary to me now. So I've also been skydiving. So I was like, I was an, advent I was an adventure girl growing up. <laughs> now that scares me too. Anyway, I was like, oh my gosh, I lived in, lived in Hawaii. And I was, we're like, should we move to Hawaii? I forgot why I was talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I've lost some hair. My postpartum hair loss has started. If you guys don't know, postpartum, after you have your baby, you start to lose your hair. As if we haven't already gone through enough, uh, you also lose your hair. I encapsulated my placenta, which I should make a video about my experience with that too. I didn't really know what to expect but apparently it's supposed to help you with one of the benefits is that it helps you with postpartum hair loss and i have lost quite a bit of hair i feel like it also looks like a little bit more because my hair is so long i didn't lose as much as i thought i would because one time i got really sick i got a really bad fever and i lost so much of my hair and i thought that's gonna happen to me when i give birth because like it was such a you know big thing my body went through and that's why you lose your hair but I've only lost like some hair and not really like that much so and I'm at five months and this is like when it peaks for most people and then by like six months it stops so I don't know if it's because I took my placenta that I didn't have that big of a hormone drop because you like slowly taper off your hormones while you're taking your placenta because you taper off the placenta I, I think it helped for me this time around anyway end off my little chitty chat I was thinking I wanted to share with you guys my favorite YouTubers because I don't think I've ever shared that. So one of the things that I recently got convicted about, I think like right before I had my son or something, well, two things. One was to stop listening to true, true crime, which I did. And then the other was to unfollow people like vloggers that I would listen to that talk about the new age. Not necessarily the people that I like sought after to learn about the new age when I when I was into that. Uh, Cause those people I unfollowed, you know, immediately and all of that. And, you know, flagged it as not interested. But there was like some vloggers that I would 
watch that they're not necessarily they don't really talk about that but like every once in a while they would mention something about like manifesting or whatever um so god kind of told me that i need to stop watching that too back to my favorite youtubers before we end off this video lately i've been watching rachel vin I started watching her I don't know how many subscribers she had maybe like 40 or 50 and she just hit 100k a little bit ago and she was going through a little bit of infertility she was um ttc trying to conceive and she recently posted that she got pregnant so that was so exciting and i've been like watching her journey so that made me so happy i can't wait to watch like all her pregnancy vlogs but rachel vin uh cayenne wolfgang is a christian influencer she does vlogs and she has like her channel she has a channel with her husband i love her vlogs loved watching her pregnancy vlogs her another one i really enjoy is renee amberg i love watching her videos i've loved her videos for so long and she had um she has like a one-year-old son now i watched her kind of go through that new age to christianity also although she doesn't really talk about it too much well she does mention her faith in her videos now um actually she does kind of talk about it but i mean she's just a really good vlogger like she has really fun like productive aesthetic vlogs oh wait. oh no my light just died one of my favorites she always posts she always posts her videos in the afternoon and i always listen to them and watch them when i am like taking a shower at night or vlogs so much she's also a new mom she's about to have a one-year-old she's also a christian um and she just is a great vlogger she'll be like i aspire to be like her she she'll be at like walmart or something and she'll prop her camera up on the shelf and just like talk to the camera and like people are walking behind her and i'm like girl i don't know how you do that i would melt into a puddle those are like the youtubers that i like every time they watch a vi post a video i'm like on it rachel vins and renee amberg's i have to watch on the tv like if they post they always post in the morning i wake up put it on the tv that's like what i watch when i'm drinking my coffee so you guys should check them out anyways my light died I gotta go. My son wants to eat. I've been talking for like an hour. I'll see you guys later. Love you so much. And uh, thank you if you watched the entirety of this video. <laughs> Bye.